right? They're more differentiating, this is what I like. So it says here that equations must be in index form to differentiate. So no brackets or anything. So I've got to faff around with it. So the, the y equals 1 over x is actually y equals x to the power minus 1. So when I differentiate it, I put the power at the front, which is minus 1, and then take 1 off the power, which is minus 2. That's the same as saying minus 1 over x squared if you want to. So we might ask you to put it like that. But that tends to be fine. So here's one for you. So write it as 5x to the minus 1 first. And then put the power at the front, take one off the power. So look at the next page because you've got a few to do first. Right, so root x is power at half. So f of x is x to the power of half in index form. So don't forget from the other page. Then if I differentiate it, it becomes f dash of x. So the power at the front, take one off the power. And the 2 just goes. Let's have a look at c. So c is a little bit more messy, isn't it? So, so I've got y is 2x to the minus 4. Now that's the cube root. I can't see it on yours, but you'll be able to see it. So that'll be x to the power of third. So when I differentiate it, so e y by dx, put the power at the front, take one off the power. So that'll be like a minus 8 x to the minus 5. Then minus, put the power at the front, whoops, and take one off the power. Be careful, a third, take one, is minus two thirds. So I cube root it, square it, flip it. That's what it does. There. And D says, I'm going to expand these brackets first. So I've got 3t to the 5, which is then 2 times together. Minus, can be careful here, and do 3t times by t to the minus 3. So that will give me 3t to the minus 2. Be careful, because you've done some maths, you think you've done the differentiating, but you haven't. So dy by dt, because I've got t now, because of what I should really stress is the letter on the bottom tells you which letter you're changing the power on. So that would be 3 times by 5t to the 4 minus 3 times by minus 2t to the minus 1. So dy by dt is 15t to the 4 plus 6t to the minus 1. And it's important there to expand the brackets. Because what people do is they just differentiate each bit separately. They just move on. Oof, in a similar vein, oh, I'm going to split these up as two separate fractions. If it was upside down, I couldn't split it. But as it is, I can split it. And these come up quite a lot, so you've got to be happy with doing this. So I've got 3x to the 5 over x, so that'll be 3x to the 4. Now, root x, that's x to the half, so I've got x to the power a half over x to the power 1. So if you, if you take away your, your powers, because you're dividing, I get x to the power minus a half, because it's x, divided, x to the half divided by x to the 1. So now if I differentiate it, I get 3 times by 4x cubed. So that would give me 12x cubed. And then I've got minus a half x. If I take one off the power, I've got minus 3 over 2. X minus 3 over 2. What we all know, last one. Is it the last one? That's always the last one. Ah, I think it is actually. No, there's more to this lesson. Good God. Right. With this one, I have to see it as a fifth times by 1 over x. Because people take up the 5. So like what y is, is a fifth of x to the minus 1. So it's just the x that I'm moving. It's just the x that I'm faffing about with when I do it. So just x. Right, so dy by dx is one fifth 
and times by minus 1 offset minus 2. The power at the front is the same as the power. The power at the front is the same as the power. There's some for you to do if I reveal these now. Make sure you get that right. And you've got look, you've got different letters. You can change your letters. The letter on the left goes on the top if there's a Y or something. The letter on the bottom goes on the right. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, have a look at this one. There. Have a look at this one. There. So that would be on the left and T on the right. So it's DP by DT. So P on the left, T on the right. Remember, just the x squared goes up. So I'd see it as 2 over 3 times 1 over x squared. Before doing it. Right, that's enough of that video. Well, there is another video, though, unfortunately, which is different. It's not unfortunate because it's differentiation and we love it. Right, bye-bye.